This comedian is in the same vein as Richard Pryor. Please welcome G.E. Howard. All right, thank the choir. It's a lovely choir. Get the choir here. All right. All right. Thank you, choir. Thank you very much. That was a lovely hymn, don't you think? Don't you agree? Oh, and Deacon Paul back, brought back a lovely her last night, too. I sure you would agree. Let me hear you scream and yell, amen. amen. No, come on, trucky company, scream and yell, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> I like them hallelujah, boy. I like them hallelujah. Well, I am the Rev. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you people this evening. You don't think so. <laughs> you don't know how the Rev feels. Because you look like a nice Caucasian congregation. Before I get to... <laughs> I can tell by the way you was clapping out there this evening, too. Before I get to my sermon this evening, I'm going to have to pass the plate around. You see, this afternoon I went to the Holiday Inn. I took Sister Moore up there for her organ lesson. Ran to Jim Baker and Gary Hart. I don't know what they were doing up there. Something about monkey business. I was on my way back, and a low rider came out of nowhere. I didn't see the man. I ran right over and hurt my bumper. So when we passed the plate around, I want you to dig down deep into your pockets this evening and come out with the money. The Rev likes not the kind of money when it falls on the ground. You can hear the money fall. The Rev don't like that kind of money. I like the kind of money when it falls out your pocket. It floats down to the ground. That's the kind of money the Rev likes. Now, as to my sermon, this thing is going to be about Jesus, about the day that Jesus came to Phoenix. You know he was here, don't you? He walked across the Salt River, which is not a hard thing to do. Ain't no water in that sucker, they said. But back then, they called it a miracle. He came across the three dumb dudes. The first one's name was Barry and his brother, Ev. And his other brother, Ev. <laughs> Jesus walked across the Salt River, came across the first dumb dude. The man was kneeling down beside the rock and crying for no apparent reason. Jesus said, man, why are you crying? He said, oh, I'm crying because I can't walk and I live in Sun City. <laughs> well, Jesus stroked this man across his thigh. The man got up, got on his golf cart, and he drove all the way out to Sun City. And Jesus continued his journey down the Salt River. Came across a second dumb dude kneeling down beside the rock. This man was crying for no apparent reason. She said, man, why are you crying? The man said, oh, see, Jesus. <laughs> I'm crying because I cannot see and I live in Buckeye. Well, Jesus slapped this man across his head. The man got up, walked out to Buckeye. He picked lettuce and tomatoes for days. <laughs> Jesus continued his journey down the Salt River, came across the third dumb dude kneeling down beside the rock. The man was crying for no apparent reason. Jesus said, man, why are you crying? The man didn't say nothing, and Jesus got a little pissed off. Jesus said, man, why are you crying? The man said, yo, man, I'm crying because I live in South Phoenix. Jesus knelt down and wept with this man. All right. 